In this video, I'm reviewing the brand new Rovner Products LGX Ligature. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Donna from Donna Schwartz Music. A few months ago, I saw one of Rovner Products creative ads in one of the music industry papers. Now, I love checking out their ads. They're really funny. And this ad got my attention because they were showing a brand new ligature I didn't even know about yet. So I knew when I was going to be attending the NAMM show for my Everything Saxophone podcast, I had to check this out. The new ligature is the LGX. Now from the ad, I thought it was a string ligature based on what the picture looked like, you know, like the Silversteins. It's not. The LGX ligature has aspects of the Rovner Versa with the plates and the Van Gogh with the heavy bars. Now the LGX has ribbed construction, not all the way around, but on the bottom definitely, a lot on the bottom actually compared to the Versa. The Versa, you, you could see it a little bit over here, but you could really see it on the LGX. And then as with the Versa, the ribbed construction doesn't go all the way up the sides. Side view over here. Okay, it doesn't go all the way up the sides. Okay, but like I said before, as with the Van Gogh, you could see we've got the heavy bars right there. Now the other thing too, this, it has one plate and it's almost like it's cupping the reed in a sense over here. This ligature, the LGX feels really light. It's lighter, it's lighter than the Versa. I think because the Versa has more material and it's got more plates. It's definitely lighter than the Van Gogh. The bars are definitely um, bigger and thick, they're thicker and they're heavier on the Van Gogh for sure. So this is a pretty light feeling ligature, but it's very good quality. Don't think that it's cheap. It's not. It's really good quality. Now, as with the Versa X and the Van Gogh and a number of Rovner's ligatures, you're going to place the screw on the top, on the right side. So you, I would suggest that you put your reed on first, carefully bring the ligature over the top, slide it down, line up your, keep lining up your reed. Your choice as to where you want to place this in relation to the reed. You could place it co closer to the butt end or closer to the tip, but not extending this, this like beak uh, piece over here. I tend to put it around here Got to straighten that out a little bit, maybe a little bit closer to the butt end of the reed. Screw it on tight. Unlike the Van Gogh, I have many videos of me playing on this mouthpiece, and I do like it. It's very powerful. Um, but unlike the Van Gogh, where you don't have to screw it all the way, you could you know, unscrew it like a turn or a half turn, and it's going to give you more power. The LGX, you do want to screw all the way. Could you experiment with, you know, maybe unscrewing half a turn, you can do that. I haven't done that because I got to tell you, um, this is pretty powerful enough as it is. Let me play a little bit and then I'll tell you who this ligature, the LGX ligature is best for. <laughs> Okay, so who is this LGX ligature best suited for? Well, this ligature brings a lot of power and projection to your sound, along with more brightness. So this is ideal for saxophonists performing in bands where you're competing with amplified instruments like guitars, basses, and keyboards, and you can't hear yourself. Now, if you've got a mouthpiece reed setup that you like, but in certain playing situations it's just not cutting through and you're mic'd properly, try this ligature before switching out your mouthpiece. This adds a whole other dimension and level of brightness to my setup, which is the 10M Fan Chameleon 7-star um, with the American Cut Legere Reeds 2.5. If you already have a fairly bright setup but are still not cutting through, that could be an issue with your embouchure setting or your intonation. 
And you can also, if you have a bright setup, you could also experiment with your reads. The American Cut reads are brighter reads. I'm going to be doing a review video, and I did interview the good folks at Leger Reads at the NAMM show. I'm going to be doing a review uh, video on the French Cut read. Okay, so that'll be in another video. We'll put that link in the show notes when that video comes out. Now, this ligature would be great also for saxophone players in marching bands who feel like they're losing their sound, they're losing their projection at outdoor events. Now, what's also great about this LGX ligature is that you could push it to the max and still have your beautiful tone and solid intonation. The sound's not going to distort, which is great. That's, that's a great feature of this, and this is great for high-energy performances. When you purchase this ligature, not only do you get a Rovner mouthpiece cap, you could test this ligature out risk-free risk -free, as there's a money-back guarantee. You've got to go to rovnerproducts.com to buy it. So when you head on over there, go to rovnerproducts.com, go to products, go to ligatures, go to next generation ligatures, you're going to see the LGX. Click on that and then answer a couple of questions because you want to get the perfect fit for your model mouthpiece. Now, if you don't see your mouthpiece model there, contact them by emailing support at rovnerproducts.com. We'll put that link in the show notes as well. For me, the 10M fan hard rubber mouthpieces are all the same Rovner size. So for example, I play, the, I play the chameleon, but I can choose the Black Widow and I'll still have the great fit that I need. Now, one more point I forgot that's really important. You can play soft using this ligature. All right, I tried to do a little soft playing when I was playing over some blues changes and stuff like that. You could play even softer if needed. And just in my, in my head, when I'm going to be using this ligature is when I'm doing outdoor gigs and, um, you know, I'm competing against the amplified instruments and the sound person is not exactly helping me out so much. So I'm going to be definitely using this because this is super powerful for sure. And it just gives you that extra, that extra edge. Not edge in the sound, I'm talking about edge in dynamics. And you could push it and not worry about distortion. All right, so I hope this video gave you everything that you needed. On that note, hey, thanks so much for spending your time with me. Share this video, share it with people that play saxophone. Share this with music educators, especially if they have marching bands. I think they're going to really benefit from watching this video. On that note, take care. Have a great day. <laughs>